All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to this vlog. Here to talk about the Indiana Hoosiers for their preview for the 2015 college football season. Now, last year Indiana went four and eight overall, despite the fact they had a great running back and Tevin Coleman, who rushed for over 2,000 yards last season. First team All Big Ten honors. Now, without this particular player, he's now with the Atlanta Falcons in the National Football League. This team should probably do a little bit worse than what they did last year possibly a lot worse this is not a football school this is a basketball school they're not really getting any big name recruits to play football for this team now i'm a little bit shocked with that because of how good the basketball team is i would think it would actually attract attention for more people out of the outside of the uh, around the country to play football for the hoosiers but like other schools like kentucky they're not really a, a football team they're more of a basketball powerhouse now this is a this is going to be another tough year for the hoosiers and the only couple I do have a couple of players, impact players that I am looking at on both sides of the field. Only the player on the offensive side is Dan Feeney, the offensive guard. He did make honorable mention last season in Big Ten Conference play. And then also on the defensive side, there's nose tackle Nate Huff that I am looking at a little bit, as well as Chase Duntro, the strong safety. He had three interceptions last season. They don't really have a slew of talent. And even at quarterback with Nate Sunfield, he's actually not playing well at quarterback. They're struggling a lot on both sides of the field. And they are one of the laughing stock teams in the country and especially in the Big Ten Conference. Now, the, as far as their incoming for recruits, they did pick up one decent recruit out of junior college. Uh, number three wide receiver out of junior college. And Cammie and Patrick, a decent player, six foot two, 215 pounds. They also picked up another wide receiver and number the number 56 wide receiver coming out of high school and Leon Thornton and they picked up the number 33 quarterback in Austin Kine. Hopefully he could possibly start right away as a true freshman, but I doubt. I think he's going to sit out this year and let, let Soulfield play at the helm at quarterback. Now this team has continued to struggle. They need to do something, get something going, but it's just pretty much impossible for to turn this team around. Even with the coaches, it, I'm not going to blame too much in the coaches. It's not that many. It's really because there's not that many like key name players who wants to join Indiana football. They want to go out outside of um, Indiana, like no, possibly the only Indiana, Indiana school that teams are looking at is Notre Dame, not Purdue nor Indiana. It's a little bit of a, a, a struggle for those two teams, but Indiana needs to try to find a way to turn things around and become a contender at least in the Big Ten Conference, but not only be a contender, but make it to a bowl bid. They only made it to nine bowl bids throughout the school's history. They need to do a much better job at that. Now, overall this year, I think they're going to go three and nine, another struggling season, another disappointing season in my opinion, but hey, it is what it is. This team needs needs some key players and they're just not getting them. So I think they're going to go 3-9 and nine this season. Now the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. I have 12 more blogs for you for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keenan McCall. Be easy.